hunting with A1. 365, no off season. And you'll also meet an archery shop owner from Hudson who's bow hunted for big game species around the world. Those reports plus more coming up right after these messages, so please stay tuned. Where was this shot? Cover shot. Ah, oh, that was in Craig, Colorado. Piece all the photos together, and you could almost make a movie out of the life of Hudson's Paul Korn, an entrepreneurial archery shop owner we visited recently at the start of another bow season in Wisconsin and other states. If Korn doesn't live for bow hunting and to promote archery, well, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa don't enjoy sending baseballs into orbit. Hunting isn't just about shooting animals. With compound and recurve bows, he's killed more than 150 North American and African big game animals. Most of them he's photographed. He's produced a video documenting those exploits. Korn is a Wisconsin native who attributes much of his widespread archery success to experiences he honed hunting Wisconsin whitetails. Get involved. It's no secret that I'm a bull hunting fool. I mean, I'm just, I'm crazy about it. I love to bull hunt, and, and I really believe that if you like to bull hunt whitetail deer, you're probably, almost anything else that you pursue, you're probably going to enjoy it. Everything's got its own little twist on it. Um, everything's a little bit different, but I really enjoy hunting a variety of species of animals. I love doing something different. Korn's love of archery is traced to his admiration for the man you see at the right, archery guru Fred Bear, depicted in a rare life-size cutout poster. Um, when I was young, when I was growing up, uh, down at the Edson, my father shot archery down there, and uh, they'd watch Fred Bear movies and I was just a little kid and you watch this guy and I mean that's really truly what um, sparked my interest in Africa I mean so a lot of people say why would you go there you can do that when you're you know when you're 80 years old you can hunt over in Africa but to me that was really you know that was really the thing because I remember watching Fred Bear stock and uh, you know um, sable and and blez bucks and all kinds of other animals in the tall grass uh, you know plains that game in, in africa so you know that's what really always had me interested in africa is watching the old fred bear movies and fred bear was my idol what i really enjoy about bow hunting is that you're so close to the animals and and i think the people that are the closest to them understand the most about the animals and understand what they need and um i like being close i like uh you know that sometimes um, I've been on hunting trips before where, for instance, caribou hunting, man, I think, you know, I had an opportunity at one of the largest caribous that, you know, that I'd ever seen or that, you know, I mean, it was huge, but things didn't work out. The thing was probably 12 yards from me, but I couldn't get a shot at it. You know, things have to work out just right. And I think the, I think it's a sense of accomplishment. When you walk up to an animal that you shot with archery equipment, you know, it wasn't out three, four hundred yards away and you, you know, you put the crosshairs on it and you shot it. You got close to the animal and you, you know, you kind of played more on, you know, on their terms or... Corn and other bow hunters like him. What are they after? Antlers? Record books? The first time I go on a hunt, I normally try to take a mature animal or, or try to take just an adult animal of that type of species. So basically when I'm moose hunting, first moose I shot was a 30 inch moose. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for something. I've never hunted them before. I don't know a lot about them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to shoot a, you know, a, a mature moose. You know, it doesn't have to be record book. Okay, after I do that, the next time I hunt them, if I'm gonna hunt that species again, I'm gonna wanna prolong my hunt, and I wanna hold out and, you know, and, and try to get a bigger animal. When I hunt deer, I, I guess I set goals for myself on everything that I do, and I set realistic goals. For, for whitetails, I'm hunting th normally three states every year, and uh, my goal is a two and a half year old deer or better. You know, not a, a six or a, you know fork or you know your your year and a half old bucks. I'm looking for something two and a half or older. So that's you know that's my goals, and maybe someday it'll change. It'll get higher than that. It all depends on you know on just how things go. Every Wisconsin bow hunter entering the deer woods it envisions meeting up with animals like this. In fact, last fall, bow hunters harvested about 67,000 deer, nearly 37,000 of them antlered bucks. 
Many of those without antlers were does taken under a bonus permit system aimed at reducing the state's deer herd, now estimated at one and a quarter million animals. More bonus permits results in full-time bow hunting. Uh, with the increase in antlerless permits and the more opportunities, um, I see a lot of people really, you know, that were gun hunters, that were real, real part-time bow hunters getting more into it. And when they get more into it, they get other people into it. I think the numbers, the kill numbers, are going to be really good this year again. Uh, there's no reason not to believe there won't be. And we had a good winter, so up north uh, the deer herd should be strong. And, uh, of course, the southern part of the state and central has always been, you know, good. So I really don't see any reason why the, you know, the numbers won't be as good or better than they were last year.